Hey everyone, how's it going? Chris from Project Mobile here. I want to show you a hands-on of my new favorite to-do list app. It's called Todo.txt. It's developed by Gina Trapani, who founded Lifehacker, which is a, a fantastic site for productivity. And I've definitely found that this is this is definitely something she would develop. So let's go into it. It's a to-do list app, sort of like Astrid, except I, there are a couple things I like about this that Astrid does not do. One is in the name; it's a text file. All you're doing with a GUI layer here is just manipulating a text file that then syncs with your Dropbox. That's pretty awesome because what that means is anywhere you have a browser, you can access your Dropbox. You're going to be able to access your to-do list so you don't have to worry about, like, oh, I'm not using this phone, I'm not next to this or that. You always know what needs to get done. So I have a few example ones here. And the, the UI basically shows you on the left side column here, you're going to have priority. So A being the most priority based and E being the lowest priority. Then you have the actual to-do list, like say buy a shovel. The at symbol is then for context. So why am I buying a shovel? To shovel the snow. And the plus symbol is for projects. I can imagine if you're, you know, you're working on a site, like you know, I'm trying to do a whole bunch of posts, I can make the projects a little more specific. But for me, the snow, it's the project of life because down here in New Jersey, we're getting a lot of snow. So let's, let's, do a, let's make a note here. So, you know, video, oops, video. Now we're going to pick a, let's say video, the context for YouTube project. Well, we'll do it. We're doing this for the site. So, project mobile. So, there you go. Now, if you've already done a lot of other notes and you have uh, projects and contacts, you don't actually have to type anything in. You can just go here. So like I already have a debt, life, project mobile. I guess I could have just done that instead. So we'll change that and just get rid of the other stuff. And it will also save all of your contacts as well. So if you have, you know, if I'm already making a lot of videos for YouTube, it will remember, hey, you have a YouTube context. So we're going to add this. Oh, and if I want to do priority, let's say, uh, videos are pretty important, let's put them at a B. So we're going to add that. Now while this is adding, it's also syncing seamlessly over the air to your Dropbox. And we'll get to that in a second. Also on this main list, you have some nice options here. Well there's a sync button, you can also get that up there. But you also have the options to filter this. So if you have a lot of things in your to-do list, like I don't really have that many, you can filter them quite a bit. And you have a lot of filtering options here. As you can see all of these. Okay. You also can sort them, which is great. Settings. So you have some uh, some nice settings here. It's it's pretty basic still, but here's here's kind of the big right here: file location. And this is what makes this application special, and and in my opinion, a lot better than a lot of other to-do list apps. Mainly because a lot of those other apps are going to use a weird format for their actual file that your notes are stored in. So if you stop using that program or app, you're not really going to be able to access that unless you just copy and paste. It's sort of a pain, especially if you have a lot of these things to do or if you like to track this. So I have it as just a directory is to do. Now to prove that this is working, I am going to go into my Dropbox and I'm going to pull up the actual text file that we've just manipulated and you can see ex exactly what I mean. So There it is right there, to do. There it is, to do.txt. We're going to download this. I'm going to open this in the Dropbox text editor. There are all of my files, or uh, I'm sorry, list items right there, just in the same text file. Now, if I were to go to my desktop, I would see that in my desktop Dropbox, I also have this fully updated. So as you can see, I didn't have this video at YouTube project mobile thing. It, sunk, it, it was syncing over the air as I did it when I, when I completed it. So there's proof that it's actually there and not just kind of magic. It's lightweight. And um, the developer, Gina Trapani, has kind of offered a great thing where that she will always offer for free, uh, for free on her site, she said, which you can find a link to down in the, uh, sh in the video notes. Or you can download off the Android market for two bucks. Now, for the two bucks, you, uh, you really are getting the biggie as of uh, automatic updating. The problem is if you're going to go to the site, you really need to keep checking because she's actually been updating this pretty frequently with a lot of builds. And at least on the Android market, she just did a recent update that was pretty enormous. If you don't have it through the Android market, you're not going to get alerts for automatic updating. And 
like a lot of this UI stuff up here, the icon change, some other options, those all came in updates. You really don't want to go missing without them. So I, I highly recommend, especially supporting these developers to, to uh, get that off the Android market. And I guess before we end here, I can show you a couple other things, maybe <laughs> something I forgot about, is when you click on the notes, you can manipulate them in this list view. So you can complete them, prioritize them, update or delete them. So, hey, this is, let's just say, uh, video YouTube Project Mobile, let's say I completed it. So you hit complete, Are you sure, yes. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna put it on the bottom of the list here with an X in front of it, letting you know that you completed it. This is cool for people who like to kind of keep track of what they've been doing, and for me, I just like to delete it permanently, so what I'm gonna do is just tap it, just delete it completely. And that will just get rid of it. I don't like the long list of stuff, mainly because I don't really do very much, so there's not too much to do. And here's how you would edit it. So if you made a mistake, you can always change it. It's a, it's a really cool app, and it's sort of been my exclusive to-do list application. I highly recommend it to anyone.